hey what's going on guys welcome back again to my channel so for today's video I'm just gonna show you how to change wallpaper on your Android Auto and how the split screen works which is one of the latest update on Android Auto my phone is automatically connected to my head unit so that's why when I tap on head unit reloaded it will open the Android Auto I am using a wireless connection so if you guys want to connect wirelessly on your Android Auto as well just click the link on the description below it's a step-by-step -step video which will guide you to connect wirelessly okay now I'm gonna open the Android Auto menu as you can see on the screen there's the default wallpaper on the background now you can change that on the latest update just go to the settings and choose wallpaper the default wallpaper is called mountains but uh, you can change that now to uh, different wallpapers they added 14 more wallpapers so a total of 15 okay now let's choose a different wallpaper let's try this uh, desk right here or maybe a uh, wind now the wallpaper is changed let's go back to the menu so there your background is now set okay now let's try opening the uh, Google Maps let's try a place to navigate Head west on Abraham Bay toward Mandalay Drive, then turn left. You can play Mandalay music as well Drive. while your Google Maps is running. Now, one of the latest updates on Android Auto is the split screen or switching your screen by tapping this one. So, as you can see, it switches from music player to Google Map. I am using Spotify as my music player, so from here, I can still browse my favorite playlist. Now, if you want the Google Map, to have the bigger screen just tap on it and it will switch back to a bigger screen okay so i'm just gonna pass the music and let's go to uh, menu so as you can see here the google maps goes to the right side of the screen so even if you open the menu you will still see the directions on your map even if you're calling or if you want to uh, call someone the google map will just stay right there even if you dial a number, you will still see the maps right here. So I think it's a really great update from Android Auto and I really like it. And one more thing I like the most is the notification. If you receive a text or a message from Facebook Messenger, it's gonna pop up on your screen. This bell icon right here is your notification and when you tap on that, it will show your messages here and you can play it instead of reading it. As I mentioned a while ago, I am connected to Android Auto wirelessly. There's also a way to connect via USB cable. So if you want to know how, I put a link on my description below. It's a step-by-step -step guide video. For wireless Android Auto, I also put the link of the video on the description below. And one more thing I want to show you is the satellite map. If you press this button, there's an option for you to switch on the satellite map. When you activate that, it will show you a 3D map, which is very nice especially when you're driving. You can see the actual images of the road or landmark. So it's really good so you know where you really are. I know that this is an old feature of Google Maps already, but it's pretty amazing that we can now use this kind of feature. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I hope you like this video. I hope you got an idea on what's new with Android Auto. So bye for now guys. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on my next video.